Good morning, friends. Happy Friday. Welcome to our 10 a.m. devotion this morning. I'm going to take just a minute and let us gather together online. And I hope you're having a good morning so far and that you are enjoying what is a beautiful day at this point and what looks to be a beautiful weekend. We'll be able to soak up a little sunshine this weekend, which will be good for our souls. So I'm coming to you this morning, and I have been thinking a little bit about um, a new term that has become sort of household, a household term these days. I think if you were a healthcare worker or in certain industries or professions, this may have already been a term you were familiar with, but for me, and I think many others, we are now using the term PPE, personal protective equipment. And it's become part of our vocabulary. And it also has become um, something that we see maybe on a daily basis that we had not seen in our world uh, on a regular basis. So I'm coming to you this morning and I have some of my PPE with me. I have my new beautiful spring mask that I will be sporting when I am in stores or in places where I can't maintain social distancing. The other thing that we have been uh, using more regularly, at least I have been, is hand sanitizer. I have the giant bottle here at the church. I also write on my desk at home and in my and at church and in my bathroom at home. I have my uh, sanitizer wipes, and then the other things that we're being asked to do to uh, that are part of PPE are social distancing and staying at home right now. So as I thought about this yesterday, I thought about some of the things that. Um, we do right now in our world to protect ourselves from either spreading this virus to someone else or getting it ourselves. And I began to think a little bit about, along with our personal protective equipment, what is our spiritual personal protective equipment? So what is our spiritual PPE? What are the tools and the things that God has given us to help us weather this time in our lives? And anytime we hit difficulties, um, what is it that we do? What are our practices that help us be spiritually protected? So as I thought about this yesterday, I thought about some of the things that I do that sustain me spiritually. And a few of those for me personally, one is spending time in silence, just sitting with God and letting the actual quiet work its way into my heart and my mind that can often be busy and noisy. And sitting in silence helps that. It's an antidote for that busy, noisy mind. Also, reading or listening to scripture is really helpful for me. And I spend time with people at church on a Sunday when we worship together or in a life group where we have fellowship together and do our faith in community. Now, that element is missing somewhat right now. So when I think about PPE for our spiritual lives, I was drawn to a passage in Ephesians, Ephesians 6. And it's the passage that talks about putting on the armor of God. And I want us to look at that passage today and think about it as it applies to how we can withstand this season in our lives and how we can clothe ourselves with things that will be helpful to us. So let's read Ephesians 6, 10 through 18 together this morning and think about which piece of armor stands out to you as I read through this passage and maybe why that that particular item of spiritual PPE is, is standing out to you, why it might be highlighted for your life today. So let's read together. Be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. 
Put on all of God's armor so that you will be able to stand firm against all the strategies of the devil. Therefore, put on every piece of God's armor so you will be able to resist the enemy in the time of evil. Then, after the battle, you will be standing firm. Stand your ground, putting on the belt of truth and the body armor of God's righteousness. For shoes, put on the peace that comes from the good news so that you will be fully prepared. In addition to all of these, hold up the shield of faith to stop the fiery arrows of the devil. Put on salvation as your helmet and take the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Pray in the spirit at all times and on every occasion. Stay alert and be persistent in your prayers for all believers everywhere. So the first thing that jumps out to me in this passage is in the very first verse, where it says, Be strong in the Lord and his mighty power. Put on all of God's armor so that you will be able to stand firm against all the strategies of the devil. So as I read this verse, I'm reminded that when I'm in a difficult season, the way that the enemy strategizes against me is to poke at my weaknesses. And my weak spots are numerous, but I spend a lot of time, all of us are spending a lot of time with the same people, right? In our houses, maybe at our jobs if we're still working. And the tendency will be that we're going to become irritable with each other. You might find yourself getting irritable with your kids or your spouse or your roommate. You might find the, the devil poking at other things in your life, like wanting to steal your peace or your hope. All the things that are ordinary things. It, it's not, often it's not the really big things that the enemy comes at us with. He pokes at the everyday ordinary things that cause us to be irritable and can be divisive in our relationships and other things in our lives. So the enemy wants to keep us unsettled in an unsettled time. So be aware that that's what is happening and that there are things that we can do to help protect us from falling prey to those pokes that we may be getting from the enemy. So we're told that the antidote to the tactics of the enemy that we can use are the armor of God, our spiritual, personal, protective equipment, and that those things will help us stand firm. So in Ephesians, in the passage I just read, the first item we read about is the belt of truth. Now, when I think about putting on a belt, it's to hold something up, right? Typically a pair of pants. And so what are the truths that can hold you up right now? Things that would keep your feet planted firmly on the ground. I think of things that the scripture tell me, like we read in Hebrews, that God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. That, that feels solid to me. That feels like something I can count on that God is consistent, even when everything around me may feel totally inconsistent right now and out of the ordinary. I also think of things like God is good and that I can count on that. I can believe that, that that is a truth that I hold on to even in difficult times. So what does your belt of truth look like today? Or what does it need to look like? What are the truths that would speak to you and help you feel solid today? Then the next item we read about is the body armor of God's righteousness. This just speaks protection to me when I think of this item of spiritual PPE. I think of Deuteronomy 31.6, which says, Be strong and courageous. Don't be afraid or terrified, for the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you or forsake you. God is with us and all around us. 
And then the next item is the shoes of peace. This is my favorite part of the outfit. It's what I'm wearing on my feet. And that's the part of the body that holds us up and that holds all the other parts of us up. And in this passage, it's the peace of God. And this is what I need most during this time. It's what I'm finding is most helpful for myself. It's also peace that is the most helpful thing I can share with others right now that might be experiencing fear. Many times in the last few weeks, I've read the gospel story where Jesus is on the boat with his disciples and there's a storm raging out on the water and the disciples are fearful and anxious and they wake Jesus up and Jesus speaks three small words directly to the storm. And Jesus says, peace be still. Peace be still. And I've said these words to myself many times in the last few weeks, and I've spoken these words over others in the last few weeks. When the anxiousness, when the storm that's outside of ourselves begins to rage in a way where we feel like we can't grasp the peace that we need, I remind myself of Jesus' three words, and I want to speak those over you today as well. Peace be still. Let the peace of Christ be your shoes today. Let them be the peace of spiritual PPE that holds you up, that grounds you, that makes all of the other pieces work well. Peace be still. And then the shield of faith comes next. And we read in Psalm 3, but you, Lord, are a shield around me, my glory, the one who lifts my head high. I call out to the Lord and he answers me from his holy mountain. I lie down and sleep. I wake again because the Lord sustains me. Call out to the Lord today and pick up the shield of faith, which is God himself encompassing you, surrounding you, enveloping you today. And the helmet of salvation is next. This piece of armor reminds me that what I'm thinking about impacts my whole life, my relationships, everything around me. So I encourage you as I did in a previous devotion, read Philippians 4, uh, starting in verse 8, and remember to think on the things that are good and lovely and worthy of praise. They'll change your perspective, and that's everything right now. I don't know about you, but a clear perspective is really important, one that's positive. So what are the things you need to think about right now in your life to keep your perspective focused on the positive? And then the final piece of equipment is the sword of the spirit. This piece of equipment is defined for us as the word of God. And I have found my spiritual protection for my life in the last few weeks in the Psalms, especially because they give me permission to show and speak my sadness, my anger, my fears to God directly just as we read in so many of the Psalms, they show me that I can cry out to God for help and I can also remember his faithfulness. All of those things at the same time. They're all important emotions. They're all valid emotions. And I love that we have this book of the Bible that gives us both permission and examples of how to do that. So where are you finding hope today in God's word? as you put on the sword of the spirit. This passage closes out by encouraging us to pray at all times and on every occasion, and to be persistent in our prayers for all believers everywhere. And I love how the message version says this final verse. It says, pray hard and long, pray for your brothers and sisters, keep your eyes open, 
Keep each other's spirits up so, so that no one falls behind or drops out. So as we close this morning and go about our day, think about the place and of spiritual protective equipment in your life. What piece of spiritual PPE do you most need to put on today? Which one will sustain you and give you life? And remember to pray for each other today and keep each other's spirits up as we go through these days together. You can do that by praying for someone, by reaching out to someone with an encouragement by text or email or video chat, but keep each other's spirits up. Let's encourage each other. Let's help each other clothe ourselves in things that will give us life. Pray with me, please. Lord, I lift my friends up today and ask that you would clothe them with your presence, that each piece of this spiritual clothing would be accessible in just the way they need it. And Lord, I speak peace over each person listening today. Peace be still. May the peace of God come to you today. May it flow through you. May it envelop you and encompass you. And may it bring you calmness. May it bring you clarity. And I pray that it will guard your hearts and it will guard your minds today in Christ Jesus. Amen. Go in peace, friends. Have a wonderful day and a wonderful weekend. Justin will be with us tonight at six to close out our week.